Well, the Brixton riots erupted less than two years into Mrs Thatcher's first government. April 1981 saw two days and nights of pitched battles between the police and protesters. Her critics sees on the riots as evidence of deep-seated social and economic problems. Paul Brand went to Brixton today to get reaction to news of her death, more than 30 years on from the trouble. The rioters came from behind the security of their burning barricades to lob petrol bombs, bricks and bottles at the police lines. Some blamed poverty, some blamed unemployment, and many blamed Margaret Thatcher. The Brixton riots were fueled by a cocktail of anger that Darker's Howe saw for himself. He believes the politician who proved women could lead discriminated in other ways, causing tensions to rise. She had let loose upon the population a clear prejudice against immigrants and that was picked up quite hastily. So I'd go back home on Trinidad on holiday and my, my mother said, tell me about this such a woman. I said, well, she's against immigrants, she's against black people. She said, she knows what she's doing. I said, I don't think so. Because anybody with a, a scintilla of sensibility knew the place would have gone up in flames. They only burnt for two days, but hundreds were injured. Many were police officers, themselves another source of anger. The black population feeling they were constantly stopped and searched. We've got nothing against the older police when they're not causing no trouble whatsoever. It's those little young, it's those little young uniform and those little young silly CID men, right? Later, Margaret Thatcher would attempt to reform the police, introducing a new code of behaviour. But many say she failed to really listen. The mistake that Margaret Thatcher made was that she conflated the idea of understanding the Brixton riots with justification or condoning those events. They're two very different things. In a way, she was blind to the social causes that led to those violent forms of unrest, which were based in the divisions of unemployment and racism and social inequality. And it, that legacy is still with us. There are others who'd argue that Brixton's changed since these times, that Margaret Thatcher helped move it forward. But the memory of these riots and the memory of Margaret Thatcher will always be intertwined, no matter how her role is viewed. Paul Brand, ITV News, Brixton.